Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How I are you? I am fine. How are you? I'm fine. And your mother? She's much better. Thank ah, God. Really? She was already complaining today in the morning. <laughs> she, she's more than better. <laughs> I like that. Yes, we, we miss that. When, when she's not doing that, we miss her. <laughs> uh, man. She's very strong. She, she's a typical, a typical Salvadorian, no more than 150. Okay, <laughs> but she <laughs> is my mother. Very, very. She is very, very uh, tough. Okay. Then when she gets when she gets sick, then we 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 worry it because she is not that way. Okay. Yes. She's like a rubble, uh -huh. uh, like a like an an oak. Like an oak tree, <laughs> you know the typical Salvadorian. Yes, the roble. <laughs> yes, roble, an oak tree. And and how how are the things there in El Salvador? I'm very happy to see that uh, we are going to pay ahead. Uh, one of the of the um, uh, credits we had in in El Salvador uh, in the bank. Yes, the, the devs, the devs that we had in bonds from El Salvador. Ah, oh, yes, yes. I am very happy. It's, yes. You I'm, know, I, 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 I admire Alejandro Celaya. <laughs> he is he and the in in the in the 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 commander the the one from the military the, the army. Uh, they are very they, they are typical Salvadorians. Okay. And, and I really admire them because they are humble and they are very, very hard workers. Yes. They are hard workers. And now, uh, the, the, the funny thing is that they are complaining about us to pay in ahead, but that dev was not really from from uh, our actual president. That that is from uh, Arena and the other presidents that only steal the money from us. They never do anything for us. I remember that they have made several times a, a, a prestamos lo, loans to improve uh, the Rosales Hospital and they never made anything for them. And that all that money, where is that money? Because they the money was given, but they never do anything there. Well, but now I know that you have better hospitals. I have seen them. And they are asking why we want him to be reelected. I know there are many people that still believe what the other people said but come on let's go to see the things i am seeing you know that uh, the the claudia Lawrence highway that they, they made it, it's already okay. it's already finished 
And supposedly United States has to put, put a, a share on it. And they didn't do that. So we, we put 100% of what is, has to be done there. No, not 100%, 80%. They only gave us, and not to the, to the president, but to the other president, the previous president, they give the 20% because they have to, to, to put a chair from, from El Salvador and, and they never did that. That's why they stopped the, the progress. But then we completed because he said, well, we have to finish it. Even if the uh, United States is not given the money. Okay. And we did it. And now they are saying that they won't send us money. It's okay. But the, the funny thing is that they won't send any money for the army or, or money for the uh, police, but they will send money for the own and has uh, the organizations. And then I say, I, I put it in Twitter, it's better that you don't send anything because if you are not helping, please don't destroy. Okay. <laughs> you don't help, okay. Keep your money, put it whatever you wanted, but don't send money for the opposition. And you know that, uh, from from I know from someone that is like a detective or something like that that Manis Jane Manis originally uh, was trying to make a riot against the government and take out Bukele. She was uh, offering money to um, officials from the army. But since most officials from the army are very happy with Bukele, it doesn't work. The one that accept the money is one that they remove because he, they, they noticed that he was not a good man. So they remove him from the fields and take him to the hospital. And from the hospital, they, they know that, that, that he was not uh, happy where he was. And then uh, they talk to him and offer money and he take it. But he, he couldn't do anything. That's why Jane managed to go away from El Salvador because uh, the, uh, the complot was on fall. And I, I, I faced her in Twitter and I told her what I know about her. And then she has to go. She didn't know where I am. <laughs> you know, I am a person who respect who owns my respect, but I don't have to respect someone just because they ask for it. They have to own it. Okay. Well, let's continue. You, you have to, 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 to vote for me. I want to be a deputy for El Salvador. in 2024, now that I have the chance. Okay, one child, one teacher, one pen, and one book can change the world. Okay, one child, one teacher, one pen, and one book can change the world. That's true. Okay, remember that we were 
talking about the adjectives? Well, um, I will check with you first the test, okay? And then we will develop the this class because it's like a reinforce, okay? No. Okay. Listen. Tell me about your family, Catherine. How many brothers and sisters do you have? Well, I have four sisters, Annette, Sarah, Jill, and Liza. Wow, that's great. And do you have any brothers? Yes, I have three brothers, Ed, Mark, and Sam. And we all eat dinner together each night, all my brothers and sisters and my parents. How fun. It's like having a party every night. Yeah, I guess it is. Two. Hi, Mark. Nice to see you again. Hey, where are you working now? I'm working full time for a newspaper. I'm a photographer there. Wow, that's interesting. Are you still living at home? No, I'm not. I'm living in an apartment with Jim. He's an old friend from school. So you're not married? No, not right now, but I am getting married this summer. Congratulations. Thanks. Three. How often do you exercise, Sharon? Well, I go jogging about twice a week. Oh, really? And do you ever go to the gym? Yes, I usually go on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Wow. How long do you spend there? Mm, around two or three hours each time I go there. Well, you're not a couch potato. That's for sure. Four. Listen to this, Kylie. It says here, in Australia, most married couples have children. Well, that's true. My parents have two kids, my sister and me. In my country, we have really big families. There are 12 people in my family. That's amazing. And are they all living at home? Well, some of my younger brothers and sisters are still in school and living at home with my parents. A few of us older ones are married with children. Are you all living in the same town? No, my two older brothers are single and working abroad but the others live near our parents in the same town. Okay, listen again. Tell me about your family, Catherine. How many brothers and sisters do you have? Well, I have four sisters, Annette, Sarah, Jill, and Liza. Wow, that's great. And do you have any brothers? Yes, I have three brothers, Ed, Mark and Sam, and we all eat dinner together each night, all my brothers and sisters and my parents. How fun. It's like having a party every night. Yeah, I guess it is. Okay. Uh, uh, Catherine has? Seven. Seven mm. brothers and sisters. Do you know how to say brothers and sisters in, in a single word? Yes, siblings. Siblings, excellent. Okay, when you say a uh, mother and father, you say parents. When you say brothers and sisters, you say siblings. Okay, now listen. Two. Hi, Mark. Nice to see you again. Hey, where are you working now? I'm working full time for a newspaper. I'm a photographer there. Wow, that's interesting. Are you still living at home? No, I'm not. I'm living in an apartment with Jim. He's an old friend from school. So you're not married? No, not right now, but I am getting married this summer. 
Congratulations. Thanks. Okay. Nowadays, Mark is living with a friend. With, with a, a friend. friend. With okay. a friend. With a friend. Okay, now let's continue here. Three. How often do you exercise, Sharon? Well, um, I go jogging about twice a week. Oh, really? And do you ever go to the gym? Yes. I usually go on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Wow. How long do you spend there? Mm, around two or three hours each time I go there. Well, you're not a couch potato. That's for sure. Do you know what's the expression coach potato? Do you know what? What is the meaning of the expression coach potato? No, teacher. Coach potato is somebody that is always uh, lying in a sofa. Okay, that's a coach potato. That is all, always just watching TV and eating snacks and all that, but not, make, not, not uh, doing exercises. But that's why he said, you are not definitely a coach potato. And she says, no. Nah. <laughs> okay, that's a coach potato. Any of you is a coach potato? They spend most of the time sitting, watching TV and eating snacks. Nobody? No, you don't have the face. <laughs> okay, now, Sharon usually goes to the gym. How many times? Three times a week. Three times a week. Three times a week. Three times a week. She goes twice jogging. But to the gym, three times a week. Okay. Four. Listen to this, Kylie. It says here, in Australia, most married couples have children. Well, that's true. My parents have two kids, my sister and me. In my country, we have really big families. There are 12 people in my family. That's amazing. And are they all living at home? Well, some of my younger brothers and sisters are still in school and living at home with my parents. Two of us older ones are married with children. Are you all living in the same town? No. My two older brothers are single and working abroad, but the others live near our parents in the same town. Okay, remember that this is Mrs. Bell. Younger, younger, okay? It has an R. Now, some of the man's younger brothers and sisters are working, are working abroad. No. The younger, the younger. They are in school, okay? Are working abroad. The younger? Listen. Uh, the Tell me, are they all living at home? Well, some of my younger brothers and sisters are still in school and living at home with my parents. My younger brothers and sisters are in cool. school cool. and living cool. with my parents. Cool. If they put cool. this one, it's wrong. Because they are in a school. The youngers are in school. Listen again. Listen to this, Kylie. It says here, in Australia, most married couples have children. Oh, that's true. My parents have two kids, my sister and me. In my country, we have really big families. There are 12 people in my family. That's amazing. And are they all living at home? 
Well, some of my younger brothers and sisters are still in school and living at home with my parents. A few of us older ones are married with children. Are you all living in the same town? No. My two older brothers are single and working abroad, okay. but the others live near our parents in the same town. Those are the older brothers, not the younger ones. So if they put that, it's wrong. Okay? But we have to put it that way because we have to keep, to keep it good. Okay? But well, from the no. listening is the younger brothers and sisters are in school. Okay? But just... For this time, we will leave it that way. That is wrong. Okay. okay. Remember that, or they put younger instead of older here, or they put a, a different thing here, but it's, it's wrong. The younger someone is creep. <laughs> Okay, let's continue. Now, complete the conversations. Complete the sentences with do, does, or good. Okay, you like to see the movie tonight? Do you? Would, would you like? Would, would like you like to see, to see the movie, movie tonight? Sure, what time does it start? Okay. You like horror movies? Do you like horror movies? Do you like, Do you you like, like horror movies? No, not really. Okay. What kind of music? Das. 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 Your friend Ricardo like rock and classical, I think. Okay, now, how is your sister? She's studying. She is studying. Is, is, studying. is she, is, is a question. Yeah. Is she studying? It's a question. Is she studying these days? No, she isn't. She is she working. Is. Is working. Is working as a cashier at a grocery store. Is that David over there? Who? Who is he waiting? Is, is he waiting for? Who is he waiting for? Is he for? His girlfriend Maggie. She is coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. On the bus. She is coming in on the bus. The okay. Bus. Now let's see. Okay. Now this is correct. Now uh, each of you will help me reading with the correct answer. Okay, Rafa. <laughs> Number one. Could you like to see a movie? Uh, Tony's tonight, 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 pardon. Would you like to see a movie tonight? Sir, sure. what style does it start? Okay, thank you. Now, Katia, do you like horror movies? No, not really. Okay, thank you. Anna Margarita. What in of music does your friend Ricardo like rock and classic in things? Classical. Classical. Classical, I think. Okay. I think. What kind? What kind? What, what kind? Okay, thank you. Okay. Now... Nancy. <clears throat> hey, B. 
Number one. Okay. How is your sister? Is she studying this day? Okay, Elizabeth del Carmen. No, she isn't. She is working a cashier. As, a, a, as, as a cashier. As a cashier at a grocery store. Thank you very much. Now, Jessica Castro. Mm -hmm. Is that baby over there? Who is he waiting for? Okay, thank you. Natalie Ayala. His girlfriend Maggie. She is coming in on the bus. Okay, she's coming in on the bus. Okay. Teacher. Teacher. Yes, es correcto. Es correcto eso. In on. It, it, because it's coming. She's coming in, coming. Like when somebody tell it, come in, okay? The, the in is with come. And then on the bus. It's not in on. Come, uh, in is with come, coming. Ella viene, ella viene, coming on the bus, en el bus, mm -hmm. okay? Okay. But they can, they can avoid to put it that way. They can say just, she is coming without uh, putting coming in. It's better if they don't put it, but that's the reason they say come in but it's not necessary. The other is necessary on the bus, okay? Now. <clears throat> Ajay does yoga. Jay does yoga. yoga. Yoga every morning yoga. before breakfast. Jay does yoga be every morning before breakfast. How often do you go, uh, go. go swimming go. in the summer? In the I summer. sometimes play baseball hey, 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 with my friends. Okay. Now, uh, Sandra Noemi. Number one. Okay. Um, um, Jay. Yao. Jay, Jay does. Jay. Jay does yoga every every morning before breakfast. Thank you very much. Now Doris Jasmine. Uh, number two. Yes. <clears throat> How often do you go swimming in the summer? Thank you very much. Natalie Patricia. Monica Marisol. A sometime plays baseball with my friends. Thank you very much. Now, the reading, okay? Now, all of you will, will help me with the reading. Uh, we will do it again, okay? We did it yesterday, but we will be doing it again. Uh, listen and follow the reading. Audrey Tato. Audrey Tato is a young French actress. She has fans around the world. Here are some interesting things about Audrey's life and career. 1978, Audrey is born in Beaumont, France. 
1980s and 1990s. Audrey acts in plays, especially comedies, in high school. After that, she goes to acting school. She wins the prize Best Newcomer for her acting on French TV, 1999. 2000, 2002. Audrey acts in many movies, including Vaujou Vaugère, 2000. Then she plays a young woman called Amélie in the movie of the same name, Amélie, 2001. Is in French, but the film is a big international hit. Audrey becomes popular in many countries, including the United States. Audrey also acts in a film called God is Great, I'm Not, 2002. Audrey has a big year. She acts in the Spanish apartment. And he loves me, he loves me not. Okay, are two, two, two movies. The Spanish Apartment and He Loves Me, He Loves Me Not. She also acts in Dirty Pretty Things. This is the first time she speaks English in a movie. Okay. Now. And... Repeat after me, Audrey Tato. Audrey Tato. Audrey Tato. Audrey Tato is a young French actress. Audrey Tato is a young French actress. She has fans around the world. She has, she has fans around the world. The world. Here are some interesting things about Audrey's life and career. Here are some interesting things about Audrey's life and career. 1978. Audrey is born in Beaumont, France. Beaumont, Beaumont, France, 1980s and 1990s, 1980s and 1990s, Audrey acts in place, especially comedies, in high school. After that, she goes to acting school. After that, she goes to acting school. school. She wins the prize Best Newcomer. She, she wins the Best Newcomer. For her oh. acting on French TV. For her, oh, and for her, her acting, acting on, on French, French TV. TV. <clears throat> 1999. 1999-2002. 2000-2002. Audrey acts in many movies. Audrey Audrey acts in many movies, movies. <laughs> including Voyou Voyeur. Including Voyou Voyeur. Then she plays a young woman called Amélie. Then she plays a young woman called Amélie. In a movie of the same name. In a movie, in a movie in the same night. Amelie, 2001, is in French. Is in French. But the film is a big international hit. 
Audrey becomes popular. Audrey becomes popular in many countries. In many countries. Including United the United States. In, 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 in the United, United States. States. Audrey also acts. Audrey, 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 Audrey also acts. acts. In a film called God is Great, I'm Not. In a film called God is Great, I'm Not. 2002. 2003. 2003. 2003. 2003. Audrey has a big year. Audrey has, Audrey has a big, big, year. big year. She acts in the Spanish apartment. She, she acts in the Spanish, Spanish apartment. apartment. And he loves me, he loves me not. She also acts in dirty, pretty things. She, she only also acts, acts in dirty, pretty, 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 pretty things. This is the pretty first things. time she speaks English in a movie. This, this is the first time she speaks English in a movie. In the movie. In the movie. In a 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 movie. Yo no sé si ustedes necesitan lentes <laughs> o si le gusta inventar a la hora que lee. No, teacher, es que la pantalla del teléfono es muy pequeño. Bien pequeño. Ah, es que ustedes están. Por eso. El nos cuesta más. Sí, teacher, yo sé. la palabra grace, que quiere decir? Perdón, great. Lo dice, call God is God, great. God is great. Dios es grandioso, is... enorme. Ah, ok. Ajá, uh -huh. I'm not. La película que ella hizo. Ajá. Uh -huh. Dios es enorme, great, grandioso. Uh -huh. ¿Alguna otra pregunta? ¿No? Bueno, vamos a contestar aquí y después vamos a leer de nuevo. Mire. In high school, Audrey Toto acts. In place. <clears throat> Many Americans like the movie. Amelie. Amelie. Okay. Amelie. Audrey acts Amelie. in three movies in 2003. 2003. In her movies, Audrey usually speaks French. 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 Y miren, y si el inglés es raro, el francés es más raro. Porque, este, por ejemplo, no sé si ustedes algunas veces se han fijado que en los perfumes dice, en algunos dice parfum, ¿verdad? Es perfume. Pero en otros dice eau de toilette, o sea, y dice e a u de uh -huh, sí. toilette. ¿Sí? ¿Lo han visto? Oye. Sí. Dice sí. E A U, pero fíjense, dice E A U, así se escribe y se pronuncia O. Oh. <ríe> oh. <ríe> Ni por ser. Justo, justo la justo la vocal que no está es la que se pronuncia. <ríe> A mí es lo que me daba risa, o sea, siempre me ponía a bromear con el con el profesor de fra de, de francés. Entonces yo le decía, mire, yo, yo ya tengo bien calculado el francés. Cuando veo varias, varias vocales en, 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 en alguna palabra, pronuncio no. la que no está. Y esa es. Y se tiraba la cargada del profesor. Sí, mire, le digo, por ejemplo, aquí, aquí dice, o sea, eh, eh de o, o de toilette significa agua, agua de baño. ¿Verdad? Entonces... 
Cuando usted un perfume, mire que dice, o oh, de toilette, mejor no lo compre. Porque esas son lociones que se van bien luego. Porque son aguas de baño. Son como splash. Pero si dice perfume, y cuando usted lo toca, es así como aceitosito de ese compre que se dura un montón. ¿Verdad? Sí. Okay. El perfume. Perfume. Y, y, y sabían ustedes por qué este, eh, los, los franceses son los que hacen los mejores perfumes. Eso viene de la Edad Media. Porque era para espantar todos los tufos de la gente. Y esos eran chupos, no se bañaban. Sabían ustedes que la María Antonieta solo se bañó una vez en su vida. <risa> solo cuando se casó se bañó y de ahí no se volvió a bañar por eso ocupaban esas grandes pelucas para, para, para espantar para espantar las moscas que no anduvieran siguiendo Yo, wow. dicen que algunos podían tener hasta, hasta, hasta ratones adentro del, del pelo Yo, guarde. chucos chucos guácala por eso es que esa gente era tan enferma y trajeron tantas enfermedades a, 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 a América. Nosotros en América siempre hemos sido aseados, siempre nos bañábamos. Y esos, esos eran los cuerpos cochinos, chupas. Pero, pero se morían tan luego. No duraban. Vaya. Este, ¿Se animan a leerlos por su cuenta o prefieren repetirlo otra vez? Repetirlo. Repetirlo, ok. Audrey Toto. Audrey Toto is a young French actress. Audrey Toto is a young French actress. 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 She has fans around the world. She has, she has fans, fans around the world. the world. Here are some interesting things about Audrey's life and career. Here are we some, are some interesting things about, about, about Audrey's life and career. career. 1978. 1978. Audrey is born in Beaumont, France. Audrey is Audrey born in Beaumont, France. Beaumont, France. 1980s, 1990s. 1990s. Audrey acts in plays. Oh, especially comedies. Especially comedy. comedy. In high school. In high, high, high school. school. After that, after that, after that, she goes to acting school. She goes to acting, acting school. school. She wins the prize Best Newcomer. She wins, she wins the prize Best Newcomer. newcomer. For her acting on French TV. For her, her acting on, on French, French, TV. French TV. 1999. 1999. 2000-2002. Audrey acts in many movies. Audrey acts in many movies. Including Voyou Voyer. Including Voyou Voyer. 2000. Then she plays a youth a young woman called Amelie. Then she plays a young woman called Amelie. In a movie of the same name. 
In the movie, we all same Amelie 2001. Is in French. Is in French. But the film is a big international hit. Audrey becomes popular in many countries. Audrey becomes popular in many countries, including the United States. Audrey also acts in a film called God is great, I'm not. God is great, I'm not. 2003. Audrey has a big year. Audrey has a big year. She acts in the Spanish apartment. She she in the apartment. Spanish apartment. And he yeah. loves me, he loves me not. And he loves me not. She also acts in dirty, pretty things. This is the first time she speaks English in a movie. This is the first time she speaks English in a movie. In a movie. Hay alguien ahí que insiste en decir da movie, es in a movie. <ríe> Risa leta. Ajá. Creen que porque están leyendo todos no lo voy a oír. Miren, yo he estado dando clases en grupos así de la Universidad Tecnológica que son más de 100 estudiantes y me doy cuenta cuando alguien está pronunciando mal. <ríe> Tengo oído de tóxico. Ya lo tiene afinado el oído. Ajá. Eso no es nada. Una profesora nuestra era tan exagerada que aunque estuviéramos murmurando, sabía si estábamos hablando en inglés o en español. En serio. Y nosotros, pero ¿cómo es posible? Porque entonces decía, no, don't, sp don't speak Spanish. No Spanish, decía. Y, y nosotros, ¿cómo es que no soy? Y nosotros también hablando bien suavecito. Y yo decía, es que, bueno, y es la verdad. Que cuando uno habla en español, se oye diferente la voz a cuando uno habla en inglés. No se han fijado, que les cambia hasta el tono. Cuando usted está hablando en inglés, es diferente el tono a cuando usted está hablando en español. Bien, entonces terminamos, ¿verdad? Ya terminamos, entonces vamos a ver el progreso. Vamos a ver el progreso. ¿Verdad? Ustedes ya deberían de estar así como yo, ¿ve? 100%. ¿Verdad? Revisemos, por favor, en su, en su plataforma, que tengan así el progreso. También, si no les aparece el 100%, revisen aquí, como les enseñé ayer en el curso, si tienen todos los chequecitos estos en verde y blanco. Si no tienen alguno de estos chequecitos, tiene que ir a ver. ¿Qué es lo que le falta? Acuérdese que yo le enseñé ayer que si alguna partecita de la sección no está en verde, entonces no le sale verde aquí. ¿Verdad? Bueno, hoy vamos a lo que nos falta de la clase. Les preparé este para refuerzo.
porque no se quiere mover esta cosa. Espérense. Y cuando le agarra la chiripiolca, mejor hago esto. Ok. ¿Están viendo el PPT? Yes. yes. Sí, ok. Yes. Vaya, ¿se animan a leerlo por su cuenta o prefieren que se los lea primero? Por nuestra cuenta. Excelente. Así me gusta. Vaya, ahorita a ver, Lorena Reyes. Ok. Adjectives are words that describe or modify other words, making your writing and speaking much more specific and a whole lot, lot more interesting. Okay. Words like okay. 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 Wait, 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 wait. Acuérdese de respirar. <laughs> Man, okay. Está leyendo bien, pero me está leyendo un solo chorizo. Acuérdese que después de una coma usted tiene que hacer un, detenerse un ratito, sí, un poquito. Y después de un punto tiene que hacer una pausa un poquito más larga. ¿Ok? Entonces eso es porque eh, esas comas están ahí por algo. O sea, la coma le está diciendo que, que va como nombrando cosas y el punto le dice que va a, otro, a otra oración. ¿Verdad? Entonces usted tiene que ir pausando así como dicen los puntos. Bien. Entonces, cuando llegue al punto, eh, menciona a alguien más para que continúe leyendo. Ok. I will try again. Ah, yes, you may. Ok. Adjectives are words that describe or modify other words. Making your writing and speaking much more specific and a whole lot more interesting. Excellent. See? ¿Sí? Okay. Now, who will read after you? Okay, Margarita. Se nos durmió Margarita. No, no, aquí estoy. Ah, vaya. Four guys, small, blue, and Charles are describing, and, and they are examples, is an adjective. Okay. Words like small, blue, oh. and sharp are descriptive and they are all examples of adjectives okay remember that an adjective describes or modifies nouns okay it says other words but it's nouns okay now uh, who will continue after you ¿A quién va a escoger Margarita? Doris. Ok, Doris. Uh, because adjectives are using to identify or quantify individual people and unique, unique teams, sí. they are usually positioned before the now or pronoun that They modify. Modify, modify. Okay. Modify. Adjectives are used to identify or quantify individual people or unique things. They are usually positioned before the noun or pronoun that they modify. O sea que van primero, primero va el adjetivo y después va el nombre que está modificando. Okay. Eso okay. es en, en inglés. En español es al revés. Normalmente en español decimos primero el nombre y después decimos el adjetivo. Normalmente. A menos que estemos como con, haciendo poesía y cosas así que le cuesta darle vuelta al asunto, ¿verdad? 
Eh, ¿Quién va a ir después de usted? Eh, Natalia Ayala. Ok, Natalia Ayala. Okay. Some sentences contain multiply, multiply, multiply adjectives. Adjectives, ok. Eh, ¿Quién va a continuar? ¿Usted escoge quién continúa? Hello. I'm sorry. Ahorita, ahorita, ahorita. Eh, Elizabeth del Carmen. Ok, Elizabeth del Carmen. Thank you. Eh, the usual order of adjectives. Uh -huh. when, there, when there are multiple... Sí, aquí, aquí puse una M de más. Ajá. Adjectives. Uh -huh. In a sentence, they usually occur in a specific order. Uh -huh. You won't, no, you won't always find them all, the, all, all? In the, all in one sentence. Okay, thank you. But this is the the order that it should be okay even if they are not all of them in one in one sentence that's the order that they have to follow from here opinion size shape condition age color pattern origin material and purpose, okay? Here you may see, these are examples. For example, ugly, small, thin, dirty, all red, stripped, Italian cotton, sleeping bag. Here they use all of them, okay? And that's the order it has to be. Then there is another example. Beautiful, long, white, French, silk, wearing this dress. So dress, este bag, dress, and vase, estos son los noun. Entonces, todo lo que está antes del noun son los adjetivos que están modificando este nombre. Pero, o sea, tiene que ir en ese orden, aunque no los tengan todos. Si se fijan aquí, le dejan el espacito así, ¿verdad? O sea, para, para pero en ese, eh, eh, tiene que ir en este orden. O sea, que si tiene más de un adjetivo, tienen que ver ustedes a qué tipo de adjetivo se refiere. ¿Verdad? Fíjense que por, por haber dado yo esta clase una vez a unos alumnos, porque yo, yo soy así, que me gusta investigar, ¿verdad? Esto a mí nadie me lo dio. Yo lo investigué por mi cuenta. Y yo lo estaba dando a mis alumnos. Y entonces, este... Y como a las dos o tres semanas me tuve que someter al examen TOEFL de parte del Ministerio de Educación. Entonces, el, el, el TOEFL era para ver cómo estaba la calidad de inglés de los profesores de inglés. Bueno, para no hacerles muy largo el cuento, de como 5,000 personas que se fueron a hacer el examen, este, solo 52 quedamos en avanzado. 300 y la Juana en intermedio y los demás básicos. Entonces, y yo fui de los 52 que quedaron en, en avanzado. Y entonces, y esto venía en el examen. O sea, arreglar que, que los adjetivos fueran en orden. Y entonces, yo siento que eso me ayudó un montonazo. Justo haber dado esas clases un poco antes de, de haberme hecho el examen. <risa> Porque para ese examen no se estudia justo antes del examen. O sea, ese es un examen de que o sabes o no sabes, ¿verdad? O sea, para todo lo que te va a salir en ese examen, 
Pero ese es el tipo de examen que les hacen a ustedes cuando tienen que ir a hacer una beca. No crean que es solo para Estados Unidos. Es, es una beca para cualquier parte del mundo. Le piden que usted se haga el TOEFL exam. Porque la mayoría de lugares donde uno va a recibir clases, se las imparten en inglés. ¿Verdad? Y entonces, no sé si ahí en El Salvador, pero aquí en, en Panamá, digamos para la maestría, una de las condiciones era que supiera inglés para recibir la clase de maestría. No le dan las clases en inglés, pero usted tiene que saber inglés porque la mayoría de material que usted, al que usted va a tener que accesar para investigaciones y cosas vienen en inglés. ¿Verdad? Entonces, aquí hay otros eh, eh, ejemplos. Vale, entonces, por ejemplo, aquí les, aquí les he puesto yo como, como preguntas que usted se tiene que hacer para saber eh, en qué orden van a ir. ¿verdad? O sea que antes de la opinión tiene que poner todavía how much o how many. O sea, por ejemplo, a, an es un una. One, three, a lot of, some. ¿Verdad? How much or how many? Después, opinion. What is it like? O sea, ¿cómo es? Opinion. Beautiful, nice, ugly, clean, expensive. How big it is? Is it? Size. Yeah. Little, small, medium size, average size, long. What shape is it? Square, round, oval, rectangular, flat. How old is it? Old, new, modern, antique, 1982, okay? And what color is it? Pale, light, bright, dark, white. What's the pattern on it? Check, check it así como, eh, chequecito, but strip es cuando lleva rayas. Plain es que tiene un solo color. Flowers, que tiene flores. En leopard skin es cuando tienen así como de animales. Where's it from? French, English, Japanese, Mexican, Chinese. What is, ma what is it made of? O sea, de material. Plastic, cotton, wooden. A leather paper. And what is it? Que ya es el noun, ¿verdad? Scarf, shirt, chair, car, dog. ¿Verdad? Entonces, este... Eh, aquí sigue. Esto ya se lo puse en el, en el WhatsApp, ¿verdad? Para que ustedes lo lean por su cuenta. Este... Este es, es como un como un ejercicio para que ustedes lo pongan en orden, ¿verdad? Y aquí está para hacerlo en línea, ¿verdad? Este, ¿Van a querer que lo hagamos hoy o, o, o lo hacen ustedes por su cuenta? Esto, acuérdense que es afuera de la plataforma. Es solo para ustedes ver si, si lo entendieron o no lo entendieron. ¿Verdad? Este, déjenme decirles que hoy le, le dije a mi jefe que yo estaba muy contenta con el grupo, ¿verdad? Porque, ¿cómo se llama? Este, no me dieron ningún reporte de ustedes de que iban atrasados o algo, porque normalmente a uno lo contactan y le dicen, este, si el grupo va atrasado. O sea, si alguien del grupo no va con las lecciones al día. Entonces le, le dan a uno un listado y uno se tiene que comunicar con ellos y todo eso. Y con ustedes no hubo necesidad de eso, ni me lo reportaron nadie, nunca nada. Significa que todos hicieron sus trabajos al día y los felicito, ¿verdad? Continúen así. Esto que están haciendo yo sé que es un esfuerzo extra. Ustedes vienen de trabajar todo el día o de estudiar todo el día y ya ponerse a hacer algo extra eh, es ya cosa aparte, pero también es algo que es para el beneficio de ustedes mismos. Y la ventaja que, 
o sea, están aprovechando algo y creo que ustedes no tienen que pagar nada, ¿no? Es, 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 es beca. ¿Verdad? Yes. Entonces, este, aprovechenla. O sea, no porque sea de gratis quiere decir que usted no lo va a aprovechar. Aprovechen y los felicito, sigan adelante y a, tomen mi teléfono porque después de esta clase yo creo que nos sacan de las, de las, de las cosas de WhatsApp. Tomen mi teléfono y cualquier duda, cualquier consulta o cuando quieran hablar conmigo, yo siempre estoy a la orden, ¿ok? Que Dios me lo bendiga. ¿Verdad? Este, ahí la que conoce, la que conoce a, a, a mi querido ministro Alejandro, me lo saluda, dígale que lo aprecio mucho y que lo, lo admiro mucho. ¿Verdad? Se me cuidan, que Dios me lo bendiga. Gracias, Amén. gracias. Que tengan una Amén. bonita vacación de Agostina. Gracias. Bye bye. Thank you, teacher. Bye. 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 Bye.